G'day. Welcome to another curriculum burst. Here is an overwhelming looking question from the grade 10 exam. It's going to take me quite a while even just to read the thing. Here goes. Seven students count from one to a thousand as follows. Alice says all the numbers except she skips the middle number of each consecutive group of three. That is, Alice says one, three, four, six, seven, nine, and so on, up to nine, nine, seven, nine, 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 one thousand. I don't know what I just read, I just read out loud. I have to process that in a moment. Barbara says all the numbers that Alice doesn't say, except she also skips the middle number in each consecutive group of three numbers. Candace says all the numbers that neither Alice nor Barbara says, except she skips the middle number of each consecutive group of three numbers. Debbie, Eliza, and Fatima say all of the numbers that none of the students with first names beginning before theirs in the alphabet say, except each also skips the middle number of each consecutive group of three numbers. <sighs> Finally, George says the only number that no one else says. What number did George say? Okay, got that? No, no way, no way yeah, I can process that in the first reading. Uh, okay, so I've got these seven students counting from one to a thousand, so they each skip the middle number of every set of three that they meant to count. And I'm going to do something strange here. To me, this immediately feels like a visual puzzle. I want to draw a picture. I'm going to actually draw a picture, strategy, strategy number four. But, you know, my picture's going to be a little sort of limited. It's going to be a thousand dots. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to actually draw up the numbers, but here's all the dots, each representing the one of the numbers from one up to a thousand. The reason I do that, because I'm going to sort of see what Alice says and doesn't say, and then what Barbara says and doesn't say by crossing off the dots. So first of all, what does Alice do? I'm going to reread the question here. Alice says all the numbers, except she skips the middle number in each consecutive group of three. All right, so here's all the threes. Da -da -da. Group of three, next group of three. Here are all the consecutive groups of three. So Alice says everything except these middle numbers. So she doesn't say that one. She doesn't say that one. Doesn't say that one. Doesn't say that one. And so on. So Alice doesn't say every number in the middle of a group of three. All right. So this is a nice way to picture what Alice is doing. Barbara. Barbara says all the numbers that Alice doesn't say. So she says all the X's. Except she also skips the middle number in each consecutive group of three. So for Barbara, we've got this group of three X's, this group of three X's, this group of three X's. Except she doesn't say the middle of them. So I'll put an extra X. Barbara doesn't say these double, oops, middle one, silly fellow, that one, and that one all the way down the string of a thousand. So here's all, so Barbara says the single X's, but she doesn't say the double X's. What does Candace do? She'll come along and say everything that those two lasses did not say. Well, what they didn't say was the double X's. So she's going to skip the middle three of every pair of double X's. That is, Alice is going to say, sorry, Candace is going to say this one, skip this one, and say that one. So Candace skips the middle of every 27 numbers. Ooh. Alice skips the middle of every three. Barbara skips the middle of every nine. Candace skips the middle of every 27. I bet I know what Debbie, Eliza, and Fatima are going to do. So I feel like I can see what structure's going on now. Now, I've still got a lot of thinking what that means, but I feel like I've got something to hold on to with this problem. So maybe what you do, want to do now is think about this for yourself and see that actually, by the time it gets to George, there's only one surviving number left, and you can actually figure it out. So mull on this, take your time, go for a walk even, just let your subconscious mull on this question. It's actually a juicy question. The picture is something you can hold in your mind and think about as you walk along. And see if you can pinpoint what that single number would be. And when you feel like you've got it, check what I did in my essay. And see if we, can, we, we agree. All right, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.